Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, November 2, 2023, 47 degrees at 4.06 p.m. And I am your host, Vak Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray that I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. And so far this day, I've done pretty well with that. It is a beautiful fall afternoon. The sun is out. Grandfather's sun is shining. We've had a lot of creatures feeding in the back. We're sitting here at camp. There's Brother Prince and co-star Michael. Brother Prince, Prince and co-star Sullivan. Brother Prince and co-star Max. Max, can you look at the camera? We're sitting here enjoying a fire. Uh, had another productive day today. Did some major cleaning in the basement, vacuuming spider webs from the ceiling, vacuuming the floor. Tossing out things that have needed tossing for a long, long time. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back down there tomorrow. Should be able to finish it up. Uh, I, I started vacuuming the spider webs on the ceiling at first. And then the motor and the blower from the vacuum were blowing dust from the floor all over the place, which made it an exercise in futility. So I had to vacuum the floor first and then start Oh, excuse me, just finished a salad. Uh, and I got gas. Thanks for sharing. But anyway, I regrouped and did the floor and then started working on the ceiling. We're vacuuming off the dust off the duct work. We're going through and throwing out old cans of paint and all kinds of things that I've collected down there for years that I've never used. You know, all that stuff that you're going to use someday and this is worth saving that it's got 20 years dust on it. It's time to throw it in a dumpster. What's good, I'll try to give to people, but I got dried up cans of paint, you know, just the list goes on and on. There's stuff down there I forgot of, tools from when I had ceramics class, and, uh, you know, those things from sitting on that humid basement floor, they're all rusty, <laughs> not going to do anybody any good. But anyway, we'll be back down there tomorrow to finish that up uh, after working down there for a few hours. Four probably anyway, maybe five, I don't know. Went to uh, one of the local auto dealers. I had a lead on a job and talked to the owner there and he took my name and number and said they're pretty much filled up right now, but if they need me, he'd give me a call. He Well, he gave it to the person that does that and they'll give me a call. But then I also went and talked to John Benson and tomorrow we're going to go talk at length and... Uh, I'll probably be working at JJ's uh, Bar and Grill. Who knows what I'll do. He's got so much stuff to do there. We already briefly talked about maintenance, prep work, etc. I know he does a lot of parties and banquets and funerals and things like that. And I'd be more inclined to be doing prep work. I don't want to be working 9 to midnight. I'm too old for that shit. I don't want to be going in at 7 in the morning to do cleaning. But... Getting in there earlier to do prep work or helping doing the catering to parties and banquets, I think that would be something I'd really enjoy. And he said he'll he'll get me some hours one way or the other. But he was busy interviewing people today, and uh, so I'll go back and talk to him tomorrow, and we can sit down and discuss things at length. So, anyway, had a couple shots of espresso. Went down really, really, really good. And what else did we do today? We got we got some ammo in today. And we were hoping to see Miss Morgan, the UPS driver, but we were busy vacuuming in the basement when she dropped it off. So, darn, I'm going to have to order something else and catch her next time because I think I order stuff just so I can see her. She is sweet. And I'll tell you what, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Those UPS uniforms are not exactly fashion statements, but somehow the way hers fits her makes it one. Anyway, oh, 
What else can we say? Look, at there's that Mackie. There's that Mackie. Where's the princess? Princess Elsie is upstairs. That espresso I drank is kicking in, and I'm yammering about a mile a minute. What do you think, Bubby? Look at look at my key over there. It turned into a pretty nice day. It was cold last night. Um, I think it was in the mid to high 20s when we got up this morning. And uh, that furnace was going on all night long, off and on and off and on. And I slept upstairs for a while, but it got so dry up there, I ended up moving down to Audie's bed in the living room. And then Mikey came with me and tucked underneath the covers and purred me for a while. And then Sullivan was there with me. And then I said, you know what? You're not going to fall back to sleep. You might as well get up. So that's what we did. And here we are on tap for tonight. We will be uh, reading to the cats. We'll be finishing this book right here. The day's work. Yeah, is that in there? It's hard to see with the glare from the grandfather son. But yeah, we're on the last story and we've got about 15 pages to go. And probably do a crossword watch an episode of Endeavor, and finish watching a movie called Cross of Iron. We started watching that one on Tuesday night, watched some more of it last night, and we'll finish it tonight. Isn't this fun? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good afternoon either. Neither do any of them people on TV shows or the news or anything. They don't mean it either. You probably already knew that, but <laughs> superficiality. Oh, yeah. So anyway, what was I going to say? I thought I had, might have had something profound to say, but I think all kinds of crazy things. So there it is. Uh, emailed my friend Tom, and it's always good to hear from him. Heard back from him and sent him another email. And it's too bad we're so far apart because I think we could be hanging out together doing a lot of things together in our retirement, but oh well. When I get a better vehicle, I'll probably travel up and see him often. It'll be worth the trip. Yes, it will. Oh boy. So, another reminder, it is our fall fundraiser. In order to keep shitty quality programming like this on the air, we need money, and we will take it all. We will take U.S. dollars, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars. We'll take yens, sens, rupees, rubles, drachmas, shekels, uh, francs, Swiss francs, French francs, euros. We would prefer something that's worth something, like pounds sterling, English pounds sterling, or uh, Krugerrands, you know. Or we also accept ammo, 38 special, uh, 9 millimeter or 357, and before too long we'll be needing 22s also. So feel free to help keep us going here. What would you do if you didn't have me to watch every day? And to the 8 billion of you on the planet who do not tune in, you don't know what you're missing. Well, we are back, and if you're still there, You've got less of, of a life than I do. Oh, boy. So anyway, Mikey's moved over to the rocker. Sully's still right here. Mackie went out to Audie's bed in the living room, I think. Where's he laying over there? Princess Elsie is still upstairs. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice to sit here and watch the sun go down and Enjoy this November day and a November evening. And I'm thinking I might make a couple more shots of that espresso over there. I used some new coffee I was gifted with from Louis Fresh Markets. And uh, it makes pretty good espresso. Yes, it does. So anyway, that's all we have. 
From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, broken, and angry soul, piss off, happy, no complaint Thursday, and thank you for not tuning in.